2001, leaving the National Poetry Slam in Seattle. Road trip. It's called Nobody. This summer night sky over California is so clear. My friend and I have made good time from Seattle, listening to everything Modest Mouse has recorded so far. I'm 25 years old and nothing is wrong yet. Every, even though there's so much nothing in front of us on this highway. I know where we're headed, but I'm not sure where I'm going. My friend driving the truck is on his third energy drink. We've paused at a rest stop in a town of nothing and nobodies. I feel at home in this unfamiliarity. My friend darts to the bathroom. I step out of the vehicle to get a breath of fresh air. I look up to the sky for a split second and I blush within my inferiority as I watch one of the stars in the Big Dipper moving away, escaping its cosmic hold. It scares the shit out of me. And my first thought is, this is the end of the universe. My second thought is you. My third thought is I should have learned to play piano. I'd always thought that a man should learn everything he can in the time he's given to keep the one he loves in love. And if this, if this is the end, I just wish I could be with you. I wish I had a piano, even one of those cheap 1982 Casio keyboards, because a real pianist can still make them sound pretty good. And I'd write you a song, because every woman deserves her own song. And as the world breaks up into dust, and as the mountains crumble into oceans of fire, I'd love you like you were the only other thing that had ever existed. We'd hold on to forever like it was yesterday. And if tomorrow holds no sequel, you'll let the credits roll, and I'll stand behind the names of all those I've loved, putting you in the top billing. And I'm at this rest stop, so far from home, and if the world ends tonight and I can't get to you, then let the wind carry one last kiss to you, wherever you are. Let these tires carry me to the one I don't have yet, because this is more about being alone than being in love. Because before I can hold you close to me, I have to make you up first. And if I'm creating you out of thin air, then I might as well hold my breath and force you out, because I'm already, I already love the idea of you. And if I'm gonna fall for the first girl that falls before me, I might as well spring into your summer so we can fall into winter together. And now that I look at the sky, I can see that the stars are sitting exactly as they should be. And that one wayward star that seemed to be moving out of place is actually just an airplane. <laughs> oh, thank God. And maybe the girl I'm looking for has a window seat on that flight, eating honey roasted peanuts, looking down on a town of nothing and nobodies. And she's unsure where she's going, but she's hoping that wherever she goes, she'll be able to find a guy like me. And I hope she does, because she deserves a guy like me. And of all the things I'm unsure of, I do know that this life of mine hasn't been wasted trying to find you. And if my search ends tonight, if this is all over, then just know that I love the idea of you. And I know that you felt the same way. Because if I am and love nobody, and you are and love nobody, then we are perfect for each other. Thank you.